There are many reasons you might want to transfer a project to another computer or other hard drive. For example, if your hard drive in your computer is dying and you want to replace it, or if you want a bigger hard drive, you're going to have to move your projects to that new drive. Or if you want to share a project with a bandmate or friend so they can also open the project on their computer. First open your project in Mixcraft, then click File, Copy Project Files to, and then I'm going to choose Folder. And I like to do this on my desktop so I don't have to search for it. And then I'm going to create Make a New Folder. Name it something appropriate. My Project. And click OK. Because some files may share the same name, it may be necessary for the software to rename some files. If files exist from a previous transfer, the software could get confused and create duplicate and unnecessary audio files. We recommend that you clean the destination folder of all audio files before proceeding. Now this doesn't pertain to me in this case because I created a new folder. There's nothing in it. Continue with copy? Yes. Would you like to modify the new project to have a new project folder of C user Eric desktop my project, which is the folder I created? I'm just going to select no. And as you can see by the progress bar, it is creating the copy of the project file and all the audio files. Now Mixcraft asks, would you like to load the new project? And I'm going to click no because I want to minimize Mixcraft and show you the project folder that I created and all the files inside that Mixcraft just created. This is a copy of the project file I was working on and these are all the associated audio files. So if you transfer this to another computer, you can open this project file and all the audio files will automatically load and it will look just like it did on the original computer. The second scenario would be clicking File, Copy Project Files to, then choose Zip File. Now why we would want to do that Zip is a compressed file format. It's going to take all of the audio files and the project file and compress them into a single zip file. You would want to do this if you plan on uploading your project to the internet, say a server or your Google Drive or what have you. So we're going to go to the desktop and name the zip file. Click Save, and again it wants to know, because some files may share the same name, it will be necessary for the software to rename some files in the archives. Is this okay with you? Yes, this is okay with me. And your project was successfully archived. Let's minimize that. And here is the zip file that was created. Now I want to show you the difference in size between the two. If you right click on the project folder, choose properties, I know that's out of the screen for you, you can see that this folder is 656 megabytes. That's about a half of a gig. If you right click on the zipped file and hit properties, you can see that this one is about a third that size at 219 megabytes. Still not small by any means, but it's a third the size, so if you're going to upload it to the internet, then you're going to want to use the zip file option. I hope this helps you transfer your projects to different computers with ease, and thanks for watching.